Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I kind of wanted to show you guys something a little, I guess a little different I've done with my stun character. So I'm using the current chess piece, Groot Calls Pelt, and uh, I still don't really know how I feel about it. As of right now, I think it's pretty good for me. I don't know if it's going to be better than like a Belly of the Beast or a Lightning Coil, maybe even a Duresso's Defiance. Um, so we've got a couple things to play with. But for right now, I want to test this out because I don't really ever see people using it. And uh, actually, I liked it so much that I made a video about it because I thought it was new and then I deleted it because people said, you're a retard, it's not new. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, you're right. Uh, so just to go over my gear and links really fast, we've got Stun, Vengeance, Brutality. Uh, this will be moved to a four link once I get a Surrender, but that's not going to be for a while. And we've got Reckoning, Melee, Physical, Brutality, Stun. Uh, I don't even know if I need to use the stun supports, to be honest, because I'm pretty sure I'm already stunning bosses with it, like like low-end bosses. But let me just roll you guys a map to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So let's just do, like, I don't want to do anything. Yeah, let's do a thicket map. All right. So this is a nice, simple T6 thicket map. Now, my main links right now is Melee Physical, Brutality, Multi-Strike, Sunder, Maim. And we've got War Chief Totem, Brutality, Ruthless, and Melee Physical. So what happens with this character is since I'm so built on stun uh, with our gladiator nodes as well with this gratuitous whatever the fuck violence, all of this bleeding I'm going to assume is scaled off of my physical damage and I've got a bunch of physical scaling. I could somewhat be incorrect there, I've never played gladiator, but it works out really well because basically if I get hit by something or if I block an attack, I stun the target. And this is very good because I don't use cast with damage taken, nor do I really like cast with damage taken in a lot of my builds. So this actually works out really well. Because it's kind of like cast with damage taken. It's basically, cast wouldn't get fucked in the face when you hit me. That's what I'm going to call it. Let me go show you guys in a Torah mission. This is very good for things like breaches and whatnot. You don't really rely on this for bosses, right? You've got the perma stun for bosses, so that's no problem. Wait, is this with multi-strike? Oh, it is. That's right, I don't have Blood Rage. Alright, so what do we have for these infected beasts? Please don't be porcupines. Alright, it's gonna be a little sketchy, boys. Alright, so that's, that's, uh, that's how that works. Now, remember that this is not a full retaliation build, of course. It's just really cool because it has a lot of defensive properties without using a proper cast on damage taken. And I apologize if a lot of you guys already do stuff like this. I don't ever really play melee builds. Like, here's a ghosted guy. Come over here, Mr. Ghosted Thugs, dude. What are you doing, Mr. Ghosted Boy? Come here. Um, and the reason, the reason why I'm so excited is the damage on these is really not that bad. And that's really important because I'm already able to, like, semi-stun bosses with just this... Like, with pretty much just my, uh, which is the strong one here? My Reckoning. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go through and clear this a little bit. Mr. Thicket Boss, where art thou? Oh, a breach? Okay, this would be a perfect time to test in a breach. Can I retaliate inside a breach properly? All right, boys, this is the uh, no, no. Oh, here we go. Let's see. I'm a little scared. I'm not going to lie. Dude, so far, so good. I'm really liking this so far. Now I feel kind of bad, because like I kind of needed those splinters, because like breaches are so rare in the beta. <laughs> oh, rip. <gasps> oh shit, I hiccuped? Feels hiccup, man. All 
All right, anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I'll get you guys some more updates with the characters that I'm playing in beta, but that's pretty much, like I said, all I wanted to do for now. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you guys didn't know, by the way, Abyss's Crit Multiplier got nerfed. Um, but anyway, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And remember, if you liked it, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.